Hello, this is Nick with NicksComputerFix.com and here's a video on the unboxing, install, and review of the Seagate 1TB Backup Plus Slim USB external drive. Okay, let's get started by taking a quick look at the box itself. On the front it says Seagate 1TB Backup Plus Slim. And then on the back, we see some information pertaining to the external drive as well as a picture of the drive and a uh, laptop as well. Now on this side of the box, uh, let's take a close up look here. It says Windows, Mac, USB 3.0 and 2.0. And then on the bottom, we have some uh, serial numbers and model numbers. Okay, let's go ahead and jump in and unbox this quickly. I'll speed up the video so um, you know it doesn't take all day to watch me unbox this. Here's the user information. And then we have the drive itself as well as a USB cable that's included. And uh, the reason it's included is not because they want to give you something extra, because it's proprietary. It's a uh, cable that you can only use on this drive. And um, once we unwrap it here, um, you can see it's very thin, small. And uh, let's take a close up look at the connector. Um, and on the back, we have some uh, information there. Um, it's a nice um, small drive, like I said, and it has a very lightness to it, so it's not very heavy at all. And the USB cable that's uh, supplied with it plugs in really easy. So let's go ahead and attach this to our laptop here. And um, by the way, once you plug it into a 3.0 um, USB port, um, you have the full speed that it's capable of, uh, you know, transferring files um, to and from the drive. Um, and also keep in mind that when you do plug it in, it lights up that little LED light there and immediately opens up, um, you know, um, the Explorer Manager or File Explorer rather. And let's take a close up look here and you can see it's almost one terabyte, but not quite. And um, now that we have um, the one terabyte drive connected, um, you'll notice that there was no installation required. Um, it just recognized it right off the bat. And one other thing, you can go down to the taskbar and right click and eject the drive anytime you want. And uh, that's the end of this video. Subscribe if you like and leave a like if you like.